Thanks for joining me. This is Danny, and welcome back to Real Tech Season 3, episode number 23, in which we are going to be continuing the rail network that we started a while back and set up an excavator in a faraway location in order to get lapis. A lot of lapis, because I don't have any. Well, I hardly have any. So let's get started. It has been a long time. I'm not going to waste your time giving you excuses because I want to play some Minecraft. A few weeks ago, I did a stream. If you happen to miss it, what we did is we completed this rail going all the way out to this area where I had found barrel for the excavator, which is a source of lapis in this pack. Anyway, I also set up an excavator out there in the stream, which is running right now. And I also had my very first in this series death. So here's a few clips from that in case you missed it. Hello and welcome to the stream. This is Danny. The plan today is to finish a rail network that we started last. Well, not finish. To finish the next leg of a, a rail network that we started in the last stream. I changed plans a little bit. If you've been watching my videos lately, you've heard this already, but I've changed my plans a little bit. Um, that mine is no longer relevant because I'm getting all that stuff from the excavator from immersive engineering now, all the stuff that I used to have to go to that mine to get. So I am instead going to be building this rail network way over here um, to what I'm calling my winter vacation spot because I've explored this area. I hate the winters here where I live um, in real life too, but I'm just talking about Minecraft <laughs> right now. And I thought it would be nice to, you know, have a good excuse to do another build um, somewhere else. And it'll be a place that we can go to in the winter. Now, that's too much for today. That's going to be like a very, very big project. And I will be up all night if I try to do that today. So here, no, here, I found a spot. So if you remember from the last stream, I was having trouble getting Lapis because Lapis is already kind of difficult to get in this pack, but it's even more difficult in this world because there was something wrong with the, the generation settings when I created this world. Um, I'm not going to get into that <laughs> too much, but I can't, oh no, it's snowing. Oh, that's going to make me lag really bad. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to build a bunch of rails that goes out to a spot where I can get lapis using the excavator from immersive engineering. And then we're also going to have to set up some power generation out there too. So there's, I'm not going to be able to run power lines all the way out there. I've got a bunch of rails made already, and I have these rails from a, a mod called Useful Railroads. These are super high speed rails, but they're kind of dangerous because you can derail with them if you go around a corner too fast or whatever. Um, so we have to be, we have to use those sparingly. And this is all we've got. They require lapis. That's why we're doing this <laughs> because I have eight lapis. So this is where we left off last time. And I, uh oh, I'm going to lose this, but that's okay. I've got a bunch of extras. Yeah. Um, bye. Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, it's the bear. Oh, remember the bear? The bear was here last time. I am hungry. I probably should have checked food before I left. Everything is good. So I'm going to eat some vegetables. I hope I have some. I don't. I forgot all of my food, so I have to go back. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to build the tracks. And I'm going to worry about aesthetics later. Little trick with the sleeping bags. If you carry two of them, you're less likely to lose them. Because, I, oh, oh, well, ow. I've, I've lost so many sleeping bags, like when I'm mining. And I'll be, like, down in the caves. And my, and of course, my inventory will be full because I'm mining, right? And then the the sleeping bag leaves your inventory when you sleep and then you end up picking up all the crap that's around you and then I walk away without my sleeping bag and then later on I'm like, hey, what happened to my sleeping bag? So now I have two. <laughs> so that doesn't happen because there will always be a slot for it. Okay, and here we are. <sighs> Finally at the top of the plateau. So now I just got to place, place the rails and I think I've got everything set up. Although I, I'm going to need to dig into the side of this mountain so that the trolley can get through here. This is where we're at. And just be okay with it, right? Just be here. I'm not gonna jump off, no matter what happens. All right, so far so good. Yay! All right. <laughs> Hopefully the trolley will work just the same. 
Who's sneaking around here? Flies. Now imagine we're inside the we're inside our luxury trolley, right? And we're just cruising across the land here and we're seeing this out the windows. Like, wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, I think I like this idea. We'll we'll crawl around the side of this hill. And oh. <laughs> then what? <laughs> oh, you know what? Okay, we'll tunnel through this and then we'll end up coming out. Ooh, yeah, this could be interesting. And then we'll end up coming out over here. So we'll like burst out of the side of this and all of a sudden this view will open up to us. We're going to have to dig in there a little bit to set up the excavator. So this is our destination uh, today. Um, and then we're gonna, going to move on from here at some point in the future. Ooh, the fireflies. Oh, sunshine. Yeah, yeah, this is perfect. All right, yeah, this is what... This is what we're going to do. I mean, I already did it. So, Favorite 90s band? Boy, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. I have a lot of, a lot of favorite 90s bands. Uh, and it changes. <laughs> it changes all the time. Like sometimes I'll... I don't... You know, and the, honestly, I don't listen to a lot of 90s music these days just because I ar already did in the 90s. <laughs> but, you know, every once in a while I'll go back and listen. To, like I, I'm... I'm a novelty seeker when it comes to music. Like I'm always looking for new music to listen to. And, and I, I make my own music if I'm bored with, <laughs> with the existing choices. Here's where we get to start using the, the super fast rails. Um, but I'm going to go in, go in a little bit first so that when we're going that way, we don't get launched, but we can go super fast here. Now this will be nice. Oops. So we're gonna like, we're gonna like shoot into this tunnel. Okay, we made that one. Made that one. All right, all right. We should be good the rest of the way, I think. Although we might derail at the bottom of that big hill. We'll see. Affiliate. Yeah, that's it. Like down there, we might derail. We'll see. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. So, well, you know what? When we come back, we are going to replace those with powered rails. Thanks, Danny V. Nice. Well, it's definitely not in that crate. <laughs> the empty crate strikes again. All right. Whoa. I guess I completed a quest. The ore doubling, which I had already completed, but whatever i'll take the fanfare because we got power we got the excavator we've got storage we've got the cannon scanning cannon sc <laughs> schematic cannon and we've got the schematic for it we've got some gunpowder so we should be good to go another kickback moment some people like to play video games other people just like to watch them play themselves <gasps> ding ta-da but I wouldn't mind if it were a little bit faster. Wow, it's really dark when it rains. Look at that. It's kind of cool. Look at this. <laughs> oh, and you can hear the crickets and everything. Or frogs. Actually, it's frogs. Spring peepers. Oh, that is an emerald. Okay. I can bring a generator, a portable generator. I am totally going to do that because that is the beauty of the portable generator. It is portable. Look at that. Shift right click and you pick it up. And let's see, it has two. Okay, so I'm gonna fill it up with gas and power. Yes, packed ice, nice. Oh yeah, beautiful. I got this in a dungeon chest, I think, this uh, gold silk touch. I just, uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. This was my first death in this world. Ugh. Crazy. I only have 10 hearts. Oh, because I lose a bunch of nutrition. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. I lost my nutrition benefits. That's okay. That'll be easy to get back. All I need is carbs and protein. And that, now we should see this thing run pretty fast. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm gonna grab this and take it back to the base 
as long as I can. And we're going to stick that in the crusher and we're going to get our first lapis. I'll be able to make more of those high speed rails. When this goes through the crusher, it would end up in the other crusher, which we wouldn't want. We don't want to put lapis in there. So I'm going to tell this to output lapis to the top. And then it will put it in this chest, which with this tiny little <laughs> pipe, it'll end up going into this chest, which is being pulled by our uh, pretty pipe system. And, that, and then the lapis will end up back in my inventory. So 12 lapis. Oh my God, look at this. I got almost three stacks of lapis from that. Two stacks and 44. <laughs> nice, wow. Oh, bye bye. Thanks. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. What I want to do with the rest of this episode is I want to get ready to have the trolley take that route. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to set up a cart assembler on the other end so that the trolley can stop and become kind of disassembled so that if we have any inventory in there or whatever that we want to bring back and forth, we can do that. And we're also going to need a controller rail that's going to send us back here. Um, now we do have some redstone set up in order to control, I guess, is it summer? You know what? I don't want to sleep unless it's super dark tonight. Wait, Aurora Borealis? Maybe it isn't summer. Well, whatever. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the redstone. You, pro you may have seen this before if you've been with me this entire time, um, but we've got a junction here in the track. There's our trolley which we've been using to go back and forth between our base area and our mine, which is over there, Ooh, over in that area. And now it's also going to take us, we're also gonna take this trolley out that way to our lapis area. And then eventually we're gonna have another stream probably at some point in the future where we're going to continue on this rail over here to what is going to become our winter vacation spot. I have this redstone set up that basically allows us to switch this thing back and forth. So what I've got is right now, it is going to take us to the mine. And if we give, or if, because we're giving this guy a redstone signal, if we take away that redstone signal by powering this RS latch on this side, which is actually this lever, it's then going to take us there. We can also do this remotely from over there. Um, I'm not going to get too much into the details of this circuit because I already did that in another episode. Um, but that's our first step. But before we do that, I'm going to take a minecart to the other end so that we can set up the cart assembler and also just to kind of like inspect the track and make sure that it's suitable for the trolley because I don't want something to happen to the trolley because that would suck. The trolley was a lot of work. <laughs> Um, oh, right. I also, I have these detector rails set up so that when we pass over, it's going to end up switching this back to the default so that if we go that way, it's going to set it up so that we end up going this way when we come back. And if we go that way, it's also going to set it up so that we go that way when we come back because we don't ever want to go from the mine out to the lapis area because we probably just wouldn't. <laughs> so let's take a little ride. I'm going to actually start the cart here. We're going to do this at night. We're going to live dangerously. Whoa. <laughs> Fast boost there. Now, another thing that I'd like to do, depending on how much time we have left today after we get everything ready for the trolley, I want to pretty up this track a little bit. But the trolley is five blocks wide and seven blocks tall. So we have to make sure that there's always two blocks of clearance on both sides of the track. So that's kind of what I'm watching out for right now. I might need to clean up that area a little bit there. Oh, okay, that cow. No, no, no. Don't. Uh, okay, so that's going to be a problem. Uh, I'm going to kill that cow for now, I guess. Um, and then, <laughs> sorry, cow. And then we go back here. I guess at some point we're probably going to want to put some, like, some fences and stuff around. You know what? The trolley, 
I think it's just going to kill anything that it comes in contact with. So I hope the trolley makes it up this hill. The momentum is going to be a little different. That block might be in the way. Where did that come from? But the rest of it, that might be a little tight there too. But the rest of it looks pretty good. Ooh. That's weird. I thought, I'm pretty sure I had a... Huh, okay. Okay, so... Oh, so we already have a controller rail here from Create, which basically makes it so that things can only go in that direction. Um, so we don't have to put the block there. And because we're going to have it, the trolley showing up here, all we really need to do is set that card assembler there. That's it. So the card assembler, if you don't remember from the last time we, or from when we set up our trolley, it takes a bunch of blocks and turns them into, assembles them into create contraptions when it gets a redstone signal. Um, when it doesn't have a redstone signal, it will deassemble it. De deassemble? Deassemble? Deassemble. Is that a word? I don't know. Anyway, so so when we bring the cart or when we bring the trolley back here. It's going to stop here and it's going to turn back into blocks. So then we'll be able to access any inventory or whatever. Um, we probably want to move this so that it's maybe under the ground. And then I'm just going to clear the area out just to make sure that when it does become blocks again, that there's nothing else here that's going to like get stuck to it. So while we're out here, let's take a look at the excavator. I did have this chunk loaded. It hasn't been very long since I was here, but let's see. <laughs> it's still going super slow. And we have 36 emeralds, 15 lapis. Nice. So that's going to give us over a stack. Is that like two stacks, two or three stacks of lapis? So we probably got everything we need from this thing. Um, but let's just keep it there for now because why not? And I'm going to head back to the base. And we're going to ride the trolley now. Dun, 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 dun. This is the moment I have been waiting for. I hope you have been waiting for it too. I'm very excited to, to ride the trolley across the countryside. However, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. I don't want to lose the trolley. I don't want something to go wrong or whatever. But uh, I'll just make sure I have my create wrench ready, I guess. Um, that is in the morphing tool. So if we... Oh, that is not a create thing yet. Uh, you know what? Let's just scroll. Okay, so there's our wrench. And right now we're set to go to the mine. So I click this button here. And now we're set to go to the lapis area. So I can sit down here. Actually, let's sit here. I kind of like being able to look out on an angle. And I'm nervous. I'm going to press the button. Actually, what happens? Okay, let's just go. Oh, okay, so a little egg when we start. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, this is amazing. Look at this. Oh, I love this. There's our village. Now I hope. <laughs> oh, this is so amazing. Going through the little valley. Now we're going up a hill. This is one area I was a little worried we wouldn't make it, but it looks like we're doing okay so far. I have to be careful. I could get, I could suffocate, take suffocation damage. Oh my god, this is so awesome! Oh, I love it. Oh, here's the Brit. Or, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah. All right, so far so good. So it should stop and then kind of flip around. Yeah, all right, look at that. We got the trolley here. Oh, yeah, we do need to have a platform because <laughs> now I can't get back in. Awesome. So now like we can load up the trolley if we wanted to like, cause we've got inventory in there. Although I have ways of carrying inventory with me, but like we could grab this stuff. Leave that gunpowder there. 
and I guess I'm going to build a platform now here I'm just gonna do a simple platform for now and then I'm gonna start working on the aesthetics of this whole rail line just to make it look a little bit nicer we're gonna live dangerously and ride back in the dark <laughs> probably gonna hit some spiders along the way I would imagine oh yeah right there good we'll hit them early on so then we'll be able to tell right away how this works how well this works <laughs> here we go okay so the spider hurt me I couldn't tell if it took damage or not but it didn't stop us in fact it didn't even seem to slow us down so no worries there at all <sighs> can't see a whole lot <laughs> at night can see a little bit though so the light that's in the trolley doesn't actually project so like if we saw the trolley from out there it would be glowing in the dark basically because it has a light in it but it doesn't cause light around it oh 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 we're heading home yay Oh, it should take us back, yes. So that reset itself. Not <laughs> what? Uh okay, that kept happening to me before with this one. This lamp there was a lamp on this one, and now that one's disappeared. So I set this guy up to process emeralds too. We can get two with the crusher, with the create crusher, we can get two plus a 25% chance of an, a third. So that's our best yield that we can get in this pack. So I'm having it go into, ooh, dust. <laughs> I'm having it go into that chest, which is then going to send it back into our system so that it doesn't end up going into that crusher, which will basically void it or just kind of let it do spawn. We got one, two, three almost four stacks of lapis from that I think we had like 14 lapis ore so we might have to take the excavator down soon or we're gonna be overflowing <laughs> with lapis I'm gonna start with what I think is gonna be the hardest and that's this tunnel <laughs> I think it's gonna be the hardest. well it's gonna just require the most blocks but I have a design in mind already of how I'm gonna build the tunnel or like how I'm gonna design the tunnel and this is just going to be one of actually many tunnels that we're going to end up building on this network. Or one of a few, anyway. There's one that we're going to build later that's going to be much longer than this one that goes through a mountain. But the blocks that I'm planning on using are as follows. Concrete tiles from Immersive Engineering. I'm also going to throw in some concrete, um, the flat ones, just to give it a little bit of texture. We're also going to use cobblestone bricks. And we are going to do a bunch of framed cobblestone bricks. I'm also going to try out this white wall lamp from Pneumaticraft. That's made like so. It's uh, it should look it should look pretty interesting. We'll see how this goes. But basically, the plan is that the shape of this thing is going to be like this. So we're going to have a cobblestone brick and another cobblestone brick here I should probably get my replacement tool uh, and then we're gonna have two layers of that and it's gonna be wrapped with the cobblestone brick so like at the edge here we're gonna have cobblestone bricks and then I may actually terraform a little bit here just to cover up the tunnel so that it's you know actually a tunnel <laughs> and not kind of a hole uh, and then another cobblestone brick and then actually let me just shove some cobblestone up here uh, scaffolding Uh, you know what, let me just do that, and then we're going to have this, like, like, I can go upside down with these, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
like that. So it's going to be kind of a rounded shape, the tunnel, uh, of course. Um, and then we're going to go across the top. with those, but the middle block, the one that goes directly over the rail is going to be one of these. So let's just get a, take a look at that for context. So yeah, <laughs> just like that. So glad I have the exchange gadget to not have to deal <laughs> with the gravel. Cause that is not fun. <laughs> Look at that. Oh crap, I'm out of, out of blocks. There, I like that. I decided to put spruce slabs on the floor. Yeah, that works, I did a little terraforming here. Eventually grass was gonna grow there. But I've got the immersive engineering concrete tiles over here with a few just regular concrete mixed in, just for texture. And then we've got, of course, the quark cobblestone bricks with a little bit of mossy cobblestone bricks. I had so much mossy stone or mossy cobblestone because it's all over the place around here. Uh, I mixed in a little bit of cobblestone. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but just for texture. And then there's our pneumaticraft wall lights. Yeah, I like this. That's nice. I almost fell. I was looking at this and I was backing away, like kind of trying to get a perspective. And I was, I looked back, I was right on the edge. Looks much better with the trolley there, but whatever. It's a platform. It works. All right, here we go. Riding, riding through the thunderstorm. Visibility is terrible. <laughs> Good thing I don't have to steer or anything. I do love this run. Uh, whoa! Oh man. Oh no! 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 Oh man. I hope I don't get struck by lightning. <laughs> While I'm out here making my fruit basket. We can do this. Here we go. Oh, look out, cow. Don't. You're not going to be in the way, right? Oh, come on. <laughs> no. No. So I guess we're not riding home in a thunderstorm. I'm going to jump off before. Oh, never mind. Bye, cow. <laughs> ah, this is beautiful. All right, that's what we're going to do next, but I'm going to have to get some more materials. So I started doing this during a stream, and this is kind of the pattern we're going with. I'm just going to continue this. I like this. It's similar to what we have back at the base by the one bridge, um, but I'm basically going to have this go up probably all the way up here, and then I want to have some kind of an overhang where it goes around this corner up here. Like I kind of started an overhang there, but yeah, that took a long time, but I like the way it looks. Actually, I may extend that here too, just so that we can have a continuous thing going on there, but I'm just going to ride it. I have the track turned off up at the top so that we stop when we get up there, but let's just take a quick look. So it's consistent. It's all the same. This part is a little different, I guess. And then I filled in the uh, lake. Well, I didn't entirely fill it in, but I covered up the lake up here. Or whatever, we'll just leave that there. Here's the view from up here. I do like this. I like how it hangs over the edge here. And you got the view of the valley, the Taiga Valley. This took me a long time and this is basically probably the last thing I'm going to do today. Crazy. Oh, look at, oh my God, you can see me through the trolley. Okay, nice. 
So I hope you enjoyed this. If you do have any questions, comments, or ideas, or whatever, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. What happens if we go like this? Okay. Leave them in the comment section below. Ooh, I'm bouncing. Look at me bouncing on the seat. And of course, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to click the like button and join me next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>